Hello again everyone, Tom here from RC Plane Lab. Uh, this video, I'm gonna go over how I uh, start and tune a two-stroke uh, nitro-powered model airplane engine. Uh, what we've got here is an old HP 61. Uh, it's an old uh, Austrian uh, two-stroke engine that uh, has been around for a while. I uh, just got my hands on this one, uh, so I thought we'd, uh, what better way to demonstrate than with a new engine, uh, new to me engine. Um, the, uh, the procedure I'm gonna go over is pretty much the same for any two-stroke uh, nitro-powered engine, even if the needle setup is a little bit different than what you'll find on modern engines. Uh, the, uh, the low speed and the high speed needle are both on the same side of the carburetor on this engine. Uh, and the low speed needle is a disc. This is a Perry style carburetor. So the low speed needle is, is adjusted by moving this disc. And then the high speed needle is this big finger uh, knurled knob right here. Uh, so it's the same setup in to lean, out to richen on a twin needle style carburetor. Now this is not an air bleed style carburetor where the low speed needle is a reverse. So out for lean and in for rich. It's backwards on, the, on an air bleed carburetor. And uh, maybe we'll cover that on a future video, but uh, for this video, we're gonna stick to the kind of standard twin needle setup here. Um, and just, uh, I did fire this up. This engine is new to me. I uh, fired it up just a little while ago to make sure it would run, but I've not really done much tuning or anything like that. So I can show you how I go about doing that. So uh, let's quit talking about it and let's get to it. Uh, so to, to start, basically what I do is uh, get my glove on here and then I need to get some fuel into the engine first. As you can see, I've got a full tank of fuel here. Uh, this is Omega 10%, uh, pretty high in uh, castor oil. Uh, these older engines, I prefer to use castor. It's a little bit better protection for higher temperatures. Um, basically what I do is I run the, run the throttle wide open and then I'll either put my finger over the Venturi to create a, a vacuum, or sometimes you can kind of create the same effect by putting positive pressure in the tank by plugging the exhaust with your finger and pulling it through compression. So I'm gonna do that real quick, get some fuel uh, into the carburetor, and then we'll get it started. There we go. Okay, so I was looking in the carburetor while I was priming it, so as soon as I saw fuel present in the venturi of the carburetor by looking down there, um, a few more flips, uh, and then I'll flip it a few times uh, to kind of distribute that fuel into the combustion chamber, and then uh, uh, we should have it ready to go. Okay, so let's see what happens. this warm up for a few seconds uh, before I try tuning it. I'm going to leave the glow heater on for a few seconds uh, just to get everything good and warmed up. Right now it's four stroke. Right? Now right here you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble with the needle. It's a very stiff needle and there's a little white dot that will come into focus here as I start tuning it and it'll be towards the bottom on the outside face of that needle. And you can kind of see it right there, that little white dot. Keep your eye on that white dot and you'll see as I'm turning it in that the engine will eventually start to make that different sound. on it a little bit more and you'll hear that difference. There now it's two stroking. Now 
I'm letting it idle so I can check the transition. Now later on here in the video, once I've got the high end where I want it, uh, and I shut it off. I actually say the transition is good. Now that I've watched the video, the transition is still a little bit on the rich side. So that really large disc with the two slots in it, that's just inside the needle I'm turning now, I would actually probably want to turn that in or clockwise about a 30 second or maybe even a 16th of a turn. Because it is a little bit rich, but it does idle for a good long time without any trouble. Checking back there to make sure there's exhaust smoke. Now you can see that white dot is almost a half a turn from where I started. And at this point I'm pretty happy with the high end. I didn't check it with the tack, but all in all I thought it sounded pretty good. Plenty of smoke on the transition, a little bit of hesitation, but overall, not too unhappy with the way this engine runs. So there we go. Uh, it was pretty close right off the bat. I didn't have to mess with the low speed at all. Uh, the transition was pretty good once I got the high end. The high end needle on this one is pretty stiff. Uh, so normally what I'll do is I'll run it up to full throttle and uh, Hopefully we'll dub in when it was forced, making that cool four stroking noise. Um, <clears throat> and then, so I had to back it off so that I could actually get my fingers in there and adjust the needle. Uh, because this one is so stiff, I didn't feel safe trying to adjust it at wide open. But if you adjust it while the engine's running at wide open, you can hear that transition between a four stroke sound to that nice smooth two stroke sound. And uh, I'll be sure to point that out in the video. Um, otherwise, uh, seems I let it idle for a fairly extended uh, time to see how the transition was, and the transition was pretty good, but uh, to demonstrate the process, basically this big disc right here, if I wanted to lean out the low end, like if it was loading up at idle, I would move this disc in. There's a big flat, hopefully we can see that in the video, that little mark right there. Moving that mark to the right would lean it, and moving that mark to the left would richen it. Same thing as if we had a low speed needle over here, basically turning it to the left or out would be richening it and in would be leaning it. Uh, so anyway, that, uh, that sort of covers this, uh, this uh, video, uh, shortened to the point, but uh, that's how I go about uh, starting and tuning a two-stroke nitro engine. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, and be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.